皆さんもおはようございます。こんにちは。こんばんは。今日は、I'm gonna do a video about 12 things not to do in Japan. この動画は日本語字幕と英語字幕は下にありますので、Anyone can watch the video and it should be okay. 今日の動画はですね、12 things not to do in Japan という題名で、もともとは Abroad in Japan という人のチャンネルの動画をリアクションしたいと思ってるんですけど誰だこの英語喋ってる日本語喋ってる外人と思っているあなた私はですねもう YouTube は1年以上やってるんですけれども YouTube をやる以前から日本では高校も1年いたし大学も日本だったしずっと日本で仕事をしています56年間なのかなもう年あんまりばらしたくないんですけどまあ結構ね日本10年以上いるオールド外人大事なんですねということなんでまあそういう背景そういうバックグラウンドから自分の経験を重ねてこの人と同意しているところと違うなと思っているところを合わせたいというふうに考えておりますではではではでは入っていきたいと思うんですがスタート I won't lie I didn't know a whole lot about Japan before I got here、uh, I knew what Pikachu was and I'd、Pikachu? seen the last samurai about three times and that was probably the extent of my、That's、knowledge samurai. I actually did most of my reading about Japanese Tom etiquette Cruise, on a horrific、ね、12 hour flight between London and Tokyo and I Okay wait a second ちょっと待って horrific 12 hour flight from London to Tokyo あ、でも結構やばいかもしれない。今、いやいやいや、カリフォルニアから東京来るの方が全然やばいと思っていたんですけど、俺でもなんか10時間、11時間なんで、どんまいどんまい、同じぐらいです。Ever since. In hindsight, there are a lot of things I know now that I would have done well to comprehend before I got here.、Uh, ね、so today, I've taken five years of experience in the field and I've been put into this list of 12 things not to do in Japan. So, so when you're on your flight here, you needn't worry about reading about cultural etiquette. You can sit. おお、なんか食ってるぞ。おいしそうな焼き鳥ですか。So walking down the street whilst eating and drinking isn't illegal. You're not going to get shouted at,、uh, and you're not going to get arrested by Ace Detective Sherlock Bones. はい。What you will get is the stare of disapproval. A lot of people don't know this one until you get here and never see anyone doing it. What you'll find is <laughs> the stare of disapproval. People drink something quickly outside. They'll buy at the convenience store and then eat it or drink it out the front. Same with vending machines. If they buy something from the vending machine, they'll drink it there and then next to the vending machine. The main reason is that people are very conscious okay, okay, okay. about keeping the streets clean. まあその理由はどうなのかっていうのはちょっとわからないんですけど I'll speak from experience on this subject because これを見て実は私もこれ日本での食べ歩きは実は俺も結構ね注意されたことあってピーターどんな風に注意されたのそんなことって本当に日本にあるのかって実はあるんですよね俺は唯一言われたことあるのが高校時代ですね高校時代1年間だけ日本の高校行ってたんですけど広島の方で広島の高校ではパンを歩きながら、えー、ジュース飲んでたのかな歩いて飲んではいこういう感じですよねすごい普通アメリカだったらもういつもねハンバーガーを食いながらクソでかいねソーダを飲んでるっていうのがもういつも見る光景なんですけれども日本だったらねそれがあかんくて実は先生に呼ばれたんですよピーターそれあかんよって言われたんですよえなんでですか別にいいんじゃないですか歩きながら食べることはって反論したら危ないじゃないですか食べながら歩いてると怪我するじゃないですか落ちたらなんか手がないからその時には落ちた時にも危ないですって言われましたもう一つのね面白いことがありまして手をズボンの中に突っ込みながら階段登ったり降りたりするときにピーター何してんだって言われたんですよえ歩いてるですよって危ないじゃないですか転落したらお前怪我するぞって言われたんですよせやからさこれはおそらく人の安全のためにやってると思いますでは Let's go And you don't want to ruin someone else's day by having them walk through your spilt coffee. That said, all you need to do to avoid the stare of disapproval is、uh, just stop and eat and drink whatever it is there and then. Maybe it's on a bench, maybe you're just standing at the side of the road, whatever. Just don't walk whilst eating and drinking, and you'll be alright. Okay, more stuff, Jitsua, you and I take an eye to the skido. So in Japan, we don't have trash cans. Trash can, do you know, nine seal, gummy bako. America, it's not a net, dog them, or a wake. Home money, are you gonna get a cut them or so many stare? ポイポイポイポイポイポイポイ日本ではこれがありえないです唯一トラッシュ缶ゴミ箱があるところはアウトサイドでコンビニエンスストアまたは next to the 
ベンディマシンだからみんなそこで食ってるわけなんですよ歩いてる時に食べてでゴミを持つと何もできんやんかだから言ったら汚いものをずっと手に持ったまま歩かないといけないわけなんですよそんなありえへんやんかいやいや捨てたいですでも捨てれないだからこそコンビニでゴミ箱があってその前で飲んで食べてそこで捨てるというのは基本かなっていうふうに思ってます NEXT おおそれはあかんなそりゃあかんわいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや And then they're like, okay, let me grab. Oh no! Then, so go to the next one. Tomorrow, what are you going to do? Yeah, meet the one that I'm going to do. Best not to conjure up imagery surrounding death before, before you even have your lunch. Oh, yeah, thirdly, that's don't true. Don't do the rubbing of the chopsticks. You know, when you open wooden chopsticks, you like to do that to、uh, get rid of the splinters and just because it's fun. Everyone do it. Do it don't do it in Japan because it's seen as rude to the owner because you're basically saying, oh, your chopsticks are probably cheap.、Uh, which, so, she's not going to do it. They probably are. いや割り箸だったらクソ安いでしょ10円もしないでしょ1個<笑> I love the big don't and the reason that I eat out several times a week just because I save 20% automatically in Japan it's believed that customer service should always be exceptional with これはそうだよね 120% every time はいはいはい 110%, 120% would be ridiculous. But it's not necessarily rude to tip someone, it just creates this awkward situation where、ah, you're talking about tipping. Okay,、like、I got it. You're assessing their performance and they could potentially lose. えー、tip は犯罪だと思う。普通に、When I first came to Japan, I'd be like, I go to the, the store and they'd be like, okay, it's 12.50 or whatever. And I'd be like, okay, fine, give them 13. And they're like, what am I supposed to do with the, the 50? Are you kidding me? This is against the law. I need to return this to you. If you leave, you just put the money on the table and you leave. They're like, okay, I'm a o k a n e And then you'd be like, no, I don't want it. They're like, we have to give you the money. So it's just, you know, you have to get used to it. You become really, really good at counting money. I swear to God. You do all this like small arithmetic, you become so good at it. It's kind of amazing. Your brain gets really good at math in Japan, I think. So you might think you're being nice by giving someone a tip, but you're not. You're just creating an uncomfortable situation for the worker, and they'll probably just reject your tip. Yeah, they're gonna really mad at you.、Uh, so don't be tempted to do it. Bum, bum.、Oh, is this about talking on your phone? Oh, yeah, don't do that.、Uh, there's one thing that I want to say. Where in the hell are you in Japan that there's so little people on the subway? Wherever I've been in Japan is like full. You cannot sit down like that. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, where I live? You have to like wait in line in order to get into the, the subway. Not a hundred percent chance that you're gonna get in the first one that comes. Then you're lucky if you can stand without like being like this, which is why it's scary with the whole coronavirus thing. There's a real emphasis on being mindful when you're using public transport in Japan、uh, that's often completely absent in many countries. Numerous of the、yeah. times it's really been nice, though. In the UK, and someone nearby has been screaming at their partner down the phone, and I felt like I was part of the argument <laughs> by some kind of unpleasant 4D experience. That's pretty、Given、funny. In Japan's density, it's especially important to be mindful. Oh, yeah, this is normal. This is super normal. Users, many of whom this is every night. With that in mind, don't ever, ever talk on your phone on the train. That's a massive, like, no thing to do here.、And Um, actually, what's interesting in Japan is sometimes people will get mad at you when you're on the phone. Just if you're looking at everyone will be looking at their phones. But like, if you have both your hands here, they're gonna be like, oh, this guy is like falling into me while they're on the train. It, it's kind of weird. There's also a really interesting thing about Japanese train etiquette. If you have a backpack on, they don't want you to have it behind you, they want it in front of you. Because if it's in front of you, I don't know, you're taking up the same room as if it's behind you. But if it's behind you, then you don't know that you're actually. Actually, like hitting people or something, but if it's in front of you, then you can look the person that you're hitting in the face and be like, Yeah, I'm the one with the backpack. Sorry, I guess.
and uh, even talking loudly is looked down upon. If you're on a local train or a subway train and you get a phone call, just ignore it until you get off. And if you're on a bullet train, uh, you can go to the little compartment in between the carriages and take your call there. Yeah. Also, something really nice that I like about Japan. So usually the phone that has like a silent mode, right? So that you don't get calls. They're like, it doesn't make sound when you get the call. In Japan, it's called manner mode. Mana modo. I love that detail. It's like, it's like good manners, make your phone silent. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh my God. Meishi etiketto. Yeah, there's a whole ritual behind meishi. Especially at a job. I remember for the first few years that I lived here, whenever someone handed me a business card, I was utterly terrified because until then, business cards to me had always just been a bit of paper, a bit of card with some writing on. But in it's Japan, so important. They are so much more. Once oh you've my God. Cards, the trick is to imagine you've just been handed the <laughs> lost treasure of El Whoa, Salvador. Oh, yeah, yeah, first, yeah. Study it meticulously. The name, the job <laughs> position, the details. Uh, and then either put it in your business card holder or just put it on the desk if you're at a business meeting. Just put it on the table. Never play around I have with some business cards or put them to, in your back pocket. To say about this. As a physical extension of the person themselves. And you don't want to stuff somebody's physical extension down your back pocket. If you're doing business in Japan, always, always carry business cards. Yeah, you need you to have like 20. That awkward foreigner who stood there writing out their name and number 50 times in one hour on the back of a tissue. And for the record, I am usually that awkward foreigner uh, scribbling down my details because I do forget to bring them. And subsequently, I hate myself when it happens. Okay, um, so something to add to that. People in Japan know about this. There's, there's a ritual for business cards. First, when you give them to someone and you get them yourselves, you you need to do two things. Mazu wa meishi wa aru janai desu ka? De meishi ire. Meishi o ireru mono ryouho mochimasu ne. Soko de meishi ire o motta mama jibun no watashimasu. De naka doji ni moratchau kanji nan desu yo ne. De meishi ire no ue ni oite yomu kanji desu. Ho ho ho. Naru hodo desu ne. Then when you go to sit down at the table, because you're gonna have your like shodan, you're gonna put your meishi ire to the left of you, and you're gonna put their meishi on top of your meishi de. Ne? So shite, if you're gonna get like two, three, four meishis at the same time, it's gonna be seniority goes to the top, and then to the right of that is gonna be like level two, level three, level four. Then you're not gonna put the meishi inside of the meishi de until the meeting's over. They're gonna be right in front of you, and if you are like, oh shit, what's this guy's name? You're gonna look down, and then you're gonna be like, hey, Bob. Of course, the name is probably not gonna be Bob, but it's is super important. If you fuck up with people's meishis, you're not gonna, they're not gonna be happy with you. なんでしょうね、今回は。ああ、鼻くしゅん。いや、バレミンやる。人やるよね。<笑> any hand drying facilities That's not despite true. having space age toilets that reside in the same room. It's quite a weird con Are you kidding me? Do they always have the blowers? They got the hot air blowers. Brrr. But I read somewhere that like there's like tons of germs that get on your hands. Contrast that I don't mm. quite understand. Akshu? Ah, really? Isn't really a thing. You'll bow I think people like that. Nod enthusiastically daily, uh, but occasionally you might shake hands with someone if they're a good friend or uh, a business client that you get on well with. But generally, I avoid it unless someone makes the first move. And hugging in particular doesn't go down well. It's just met with expressions of awkwardness and despair. And also amongst couples, public displays of affection are phenomenally rare here. So uh, don't be surprised if you get the stare of disapproval if you're kissing your partner frantically in the street. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't really seen how much people frantically kiss their partners in other countries in the street. Um, はい。日本だったらまあ結構キスしてんのかとか見られちゃうと思うんですけど、まずは商談では結構握手は日本でも全然ありだと思ってます。え、むしろ自分が外人だからこそ握手したがる人は結構いると思う。日本人同士だったら
思思わわれれるるとこいいいいつ性格悪いんちゃうかかななっってて逆に思われるかもしれないと思ってるので俺は結構積極的に握手を求むハグは若者同士だったら OK だけど結構自分より年上の人なんかハグしようとしたら結構仲良くないと難しいかもしれないいやーでも結構気をつけた方がいいと思いますハグは。積極的に喋ったらあかんね。ああ、いや。Yeah. Japan is all about to o i m a s u That's true. So basically, in Japan, people love the phrase I think or I believe instead of this is how it is. Even though what they're saying is 100% correct. You'd be like, what is 2 plus 2? And they're like, I think it's 4. You're like, I'm pretty sure you know that it's 4. No, they're like, I think it's 4. Around opinions. Sometimes it can be frustrating when people are just unwilling to speak their minds or give you a clear yes or no answer. I mean, yeah, it's really time, difficult. One of my colleagues, when I was teaching, I asked him, Do you have any pets? And he said to me, Maybe my cat is dead. What the fuck? Maybe your cat is dead. What, what does that mean? Is, is dead He's is saying his cat's dead. Schrodinger's cat, <laughs> is it? It turned out the cat was definitely dead, but he was just the sort of person that always uh... likes to use the word maybe. I feel like、certain. he needs to get better at English.、Uh, but if there's one reason I've seen a fight anywhere in Japan in the last five years, it's probably this reason that people are a lot more careful about expressing their opinions and holding. You've never seen a fight in Japan in five years? Oh my god, you need to hang around like the subway at like two in the morning. People are just getting drunk and hitting each other and cursing each other out is pretty normal in Japan, to be honest. Bring back what they really think. <laughs> Oh my god.、Uh, everyone seems to know this one already anyway. When visiting someone's house、yeah. or entering a public building like a school or going to a hot spring, you take off your shoes. Or a restaurant, depending on the restaurant. The easiest way of knowing if you have to change your shoes is there'll be a change in elevation in the floor. So when you go in, there'll be a little stair, and that's when you know. This is the one thing on the list where failing to stick to the rules will have noticeable results. A few. あれ、洞窟、洞窟って言うんだっけ、忘れてんだけどね。洞窟禁止みたいな、で、はっきりと見えるからね。there's like a sign that says don't wear your shoes if you can't wear your shoes usually。So, a few years ago, a friend and I visited a public bathhouse in Kyoto.、Uh, we went you in, tried to wear your shoes? To take your shoes off. For some reason, he That's didn't. Crazy. I don't know why. I don't think he noticed or saw. There was a little old woman sitting behind You're the You're supposed to go in naked. Where you kind of pay. And、uh, when we walked in, she saw that he still had his shoes on. And she shot up with terrifying energy and ran over and grabbed him and took him to the front and was like, Get your shoes off. Get your shoes off. She should have slapped him. That image has stayed burned into <laughs> my mind. This quiet little old woman suddenly becoming so alive and animated. <laughs>、uh, by Uh, Terrible event, and ever since、so、then,、funny. I've never forgotten to、uh, take my shoes off when entering a building. That's not just Japan, though. By the way, there's tons of places in the world they will get so mad at you if you bring your shoes inside. Are you gonna be like tossing your trash on the ground? Oh, go be back or n i g h Yeah. For whatever reason, rubbish bins and trash cans are disturbingly rare <laughs> in Japan.、Uh, outside、yeah. the convenience stores, it can be a nightmare to find. This is、one. why、and、you eat in front of the convenience the store. Because so many people,、uh, so many of you guys, message me on Twitter saying, I'm in Tokyo and I can't find a bin. What should I do? Convenience I've store. I've wandered through Tokyo for up to 20 minutes sometimes <laughs> just in search of a bin and can't find one. <laughs> the streets, though, despite that, are shockingly clean here because people, people are amazing. Bin, they just take the rubbish home with them. Yeah, they, they throw、like、it away at home. It's a mini game sometimes going in search. For a bin because when you do find a bin, you feel a real sense of achievement. <laughs> But、uh, despite that, that's amazing. Don't be tempted to litter, just keep trying, and you'll find a bin one day. It's got another that day. Go in book, go in back on Mitskarimas. Naina, ah, are they just saying, Yeah, just go, dude? No one's there. Jaywalk. Seems like a fairly obvious addition to the list. Just do it. UK, Who cares? Cross the street whenever the、yeah. hell we want. Whenever there's an opening in traffic,、uh, just do it, man. Waiting for the green light. Same as many countries. In Japan, however, people do not cross the road on a red light. It's incredibly rare, and it's one of the greatest ways of seeing this sense of order and obedience to the law.
まずこれは日本人に対して話したいんですけどマジで車来てない時には赤だろうが行ってくださいよマジでみんな何してんのってほんまに思うもういろんな国に住んできたんですけどコスボでやろうがタイでやろうがまあアメリカでは結構ねあのー、これなんですけどでもほんまにもう赤の時だろうが車がなかったら行ってもいいですよどうでもいいじゃん車ないじゃん害はない行ってくださいでも in Japan there's something I should say if you're on a bicycle People do this all the time. I think they just don't like walking across. Who knows? That exists in Japan. If you stand at a roadside in Japan and there's no cars coming, you can't see any cars whatsoever, people still will not cross the road until it goes green. Over the years, of the many friends I've had come to visit me here, this is the thing that shocks them the most <laughs> the idea of not crossing the street when there's no visible It's insane! Of abiding by a rule that doesn't seem necessary. And yeah. for me personally, the main reason I abide by it is after a few years of being here, you don't want to stand out. You don't want to be this stereotypical rule breaking foreigner. And as well as that, you don't want to run the risk of getting caught out by the police. So those are two things worth taking into consideration before you dash across the seemingly empty road. Well, I mean, if one, there's police, don't, worry about don't do it. Not knowing anything about Japanese etiquette when you come to Japan. Nande? <laughs> Don't worry earlier, about not there knowing Japanese any etiquette. Consequences to not following any of these things, apart from maybe the footwear one. That's that's quite scary. You yeah, you should be. An old woman. The reason I say don't not worry just too old much women is because I find it's scary. Lot of people come here and they're very nervous and very anxious about following the etiquette. Etiquette they don't really comprehend, and that includes even me when I came here. I didn't know anything. And I was constantly anxious and nervous that I was making mistakes. But really, as a foreigner in Japan, you get a kind of a, a free pass. Yeah, they give, it's called、People、the Gaijin Pass. Gaijin だったら何でも許されるっていうね。But don't be an asshole. Do your best, but don't become a nervous、yeah. wreck. So, those are my 12 things not to do in Japan. But what have I missed? There are a lot of people that come to Japan and they're like, I'm a gaijin and I don't care about your rules. I don't speak Japanese. And because I'm a gaijin, I get the gaijin pass. So I do whatever the fuck I want. And those people are assholes. So don't be like them. I mean, this guy obviously knows a lot about、uh, what you shouldn't do in Japan. And so he works hard. It's good to be curious about what you're doing. That other people around you don't like. You should make Japanese friends. If you come to Japan, don't hang out with just foreigners. Make Japanese friends. Ask them to call you out if you're doing something that might make people feel uncomfortable. And teach your Japanese friends to cross the street when it's red. Seriously, that is so weird. Missed out. Let us know in the comments section below. I've probably missed out. Don't ever be late and don't enter a bath or a hot spring without having a shower first. Oh God, these are, these are amazing things to talk about. So, don't ever be late. What does that mean? Okay, so first of all, you have a meeting, okay? Your meeting is gonna be、uh, from 2 p.m. Actually, in Japan, we would say 1400 because they use military time here. Oh my God, by the way, Ju Yoji, if you're like an American, you could be like, oh, that's 4 p.m. because it has a 4 in it. Don't, it's 2 p.m. <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's the worst. Anyway, so. 2 p.m. That means you have to be there by 1 50. If you're there by 1 55, you're like, oh my god, red light. Dangerous. Don't do it. 1 55? Are you kidding me? If you're past 2 o'clock, they're not going to call you back for the second interview. I'm telling you right now. Even the 1 55 is going to be like a little bit gnarly. So come at 1 50 and then like wait in the guest room or whatever for the interview. Time is, is real important. So、those are the, probably the other two key ones I've missed out. And now they're on the list. So this is actually 14 things not to、yeah. do in Japan. So、uh, bonus, bonus stuff there. It's Christmas, <laughs> so you get extra, extra content. This is a good video.、Happy、this is、Christmas. a good video. Happy Christmas. I would say that another big one in Japan, this is like a super important rule that you should remember because it is super annoying for Japanese people, is to learn how to use the escalator in Japan. So, what basically happens is there is one lane which is for standing, and there's one lane which is for walking, and there's rules that you shouldn't walk on the escalator. And it is true, like, I think people get injured by walking up and down the escalators. However, what happens in Japan is You either stand on the left and people walk on the right, or you stand on the right and you walk on the left. You don't need to know which one it is, you just need to watch people and see where they're standing. And the reason why it's different is because in the west of Japan, in Kansai, 
Osaka, Kyoto, that area, the exact opposite of what it is in Tokyo. So you don't need to worry about it because you just watch other people and they're gonna teach you how to do it. Kore wa hotondo ego になっちゃったんですけど、なんか外国人に向けて話したいことと日本人に向けて話したいことでちょっと分けてたつもりなんですけれども。Anyway, I think it's a really interesting video. これからもね、<笑>皆さん、えー、日本に行きたいんだったらコロナウイルスが今の状況だったらあんま日本に行けへんちゃうかなっていうふうには思うんですけど。But once you are able to come to Japan again, please keep in mind and the most important thing is、uh, just like learn from people around you and just be chill. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Okini.